hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so so far we have covered some of the basic concepts related to vectors first of all the basic difference between scalars and vectors the representation of vector quantities and about unit vectors so in this video we are going to discuss uh, another important concept which will come into play mainly in kinematics the basic physics part which is uh, the concept of position vector and displacement vector okay these two things we will focus on position vector and displacement vector okay so here we will again take the help of uh, coordinate axis system and we will confine our discussion into two plane let's say the xy plane because involving the z plane will create some confusion we will do that but right now let us confine our discussion to the xy plane only so let us draw the coordinate axis x axis and y axis okay and this is the origin which will be the reference point for us okay let us say we have an object which was or which is origin uh, at point p1 at a particular time t1 let's say initial time ti let's say okay or let's call it p1 p1 was at t1 originally then at time t2 it moved from point p1 to p2 okay so here two things come into play first how to represent the position of the initial and final point in terms of vector and how to represent the net displacement okay so let us draw two arrowheads from the origin this is arrowhead 1 and this is let's say arrowhead 2 let's call it r1 vector let's call it r2 vector let the coordinates of this point be x1 y1 and let the coordinates of point p2 p2 be x2 y2 okay now the initial position is represented by this vector let's call it o p1 vector or r1 vector okay which gives us the initial position okay and this is equal to x1 i cap plus y1 j cap okay this is the initial position of the object the final position is given by the vector 
O P2 वेक्टर और R2 वेक्टर दैट इज द कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ पॉइंट P2 व्हिच इज द x कोऑर्डिनेट x2 i cap because i cap is the unit vector in the direction of the x axis plus y2 j cap j cap is the unit vector in the direction of the y axis i have already covered that in the previous video you can please check out that this is the final position the final position these are what is called as position vectors okay position vectors they give us information about the position of the object at various points this is at t1 this is at t2 okay these are the position vectors op1 vector or r1 vector and op2 vector or r2 vector the initial and final position now the displacement undergone by this object in this duration t2 minus t1 is this this vector okay the displacement we can represent it as displacement it is final position minus initial position or the displacement vector we can call it which is p1 p2 vector okay let's call it p1 p2 vector because it joins the point p1 and p2 or we can call it as let's say r2 vector minus r1 vector okay r2 vector minus r1 vector now here we have to subtract these two but how to subtract the x components of the final and initial positions have to be subtracted separately and the y components have to be subtracted accordingly you cannot subtract the x component of one vector quantity with the y or z component of another okay you cannot do that so this displacement vector can be written as x2 i cap plus y2 j cap minus x1 i cap plus y1 j cap this will be x2 minus x1 i cap okay plus y2 minus y1 j cap okay this is the displacement vector the x components are subtracted separately and the y components are subtracted separately okay this is the displacement vector x2 minus x1 i cap plus y2 minus y1 j cap okay so here the basic things that are involved first of all denote the initial and final positions here we use the two coordinate system x and y axis and we denoted the initial and final position for determining the displacement we have to use this final position minus initial position the displacement vector which okay. so p1 p2 vector 
which is we subtracted R2 vector minus R1 vector or this is OP2 vector P1 P2 vector is O P2 vector which is the final position minus initial position one vector okay so this is the whole concept of position vector and displacement vector so previously we used the two coordinate axis system suppose we use the three coordinate axis system okay three coordinate axis system which is x y and z okay and we have any point in space two points uh, p1 and p2 please do not think that it is confined to x y plane okay it is anywhere in space and involves the three axes and let's say the coordinate the position vectors of p1 and p2 be this the coordinates are x1 y1 z1 and here it is x2 y2 and z2 then this is the origin starting point same way the initial position will be given by op1 vector which is x1 i cap plus y1 j cap plus z1 k cap which is the initial position the final position will be given by vector o p2 vector which is x2 i cap y2 j cap and z2 k cap this is the final position now the displacement vector p1 p2 it will be simply final position minus initial position in that case as we did in the two the x components have to be subtracted separately the y components have to be sub, uh, subtracted separately the z components have to be sep uh, subtracted separately so it will be x2 minus x1 i cap plus y2 minus y1 j cap plus z2 minus z1 k cap this is the displacement vector displacement vector and these are position vectors so same thing just here an additional z component is introduced everything else is the same okay